You are here. Thank you for coming. Huh. Do I know you? No. Good. My memory isn't what it used to be. I am Kor Gran, caretaker of Morning Rise, a place for Unbound who are ready for their final shutdown. Those who come here for their final moments do so to break the Titan cycle and to be remembered as the Unbound they chose to be. Unless your kind experiences stasis lock as we do, I'm not sure what help I can give you. I can feel my energy reserves depleting. I will soon not be able to execute my duties. That is why I have her to go here to take over. Before my systems grind to a halt, I must make sure Morning Rise is free of kobolds. They have invaded the memorial site I tend and plunder the unbound shrines and bodies that are there. Maybe it is good you are here. You may have the strength to help us. Please.
Look at what these cobalts have done. Ertigo sighs heavily. I am happy that Corgrown hasn't seen this. He needs to rest and conserve his energy. That may stave off his shutdown a little longer. At least until we're finished here. Corgrown still calls himself the caretaker, but I'm the one who has been taking care of Morning Rise for some time. I don't mind. Corgrown is very kind. But the situation here has gotten away from me. We have some work ahead of us. Take these gifts and place them by the past caretakers. Each is a gift honoring their memory. I'd also like us to perform some light grounds keeping to at least maintain the site. Unfortunately, what these cobalts are doing to the memorials will take us weeks to fix. Please do what you can about the cobalts. It would be unwise to leave the gifts unguarded while they are still roaming the area. Look at what these cobalts have done. I am amazed how much damage the cobalts have done to the site. So many shut down earth and desecrated. I know that I am not yet the head caretaker, but I take full responsibility for this. I should have asked for the mantle of caretaker long ago when Corgrown started to show the first signs of memory overwrite and stasis lock. Look at what these it looks like the cobalts have taken gems and other, body parts off these shut down earthen. Abominable. Find where the cobalts are holding their plunder, and bring it back to me so I can return it to its rightful place later. This vandalism will not go unchecked. Look at what the- Desecrating a memorial site is one of our greatest taboos in earthen society. This site is a window to our past, into our memories and a place of self-reflection where we can commune with those who are no longer here. Still, so many of these cobalts infest Morning Rise. For their crimes, the cobalts deserve the harshest punishment. They must be culled even further.
Were you able to find their plunder? Thank you for doing this. Ertigo nods to herself with confirmation as she examines the items. I am relieved, but there is much more work to do. I was not made as an earthen of the sword, nor as one who calls for violence. That is the domain of the Storm Riders. What these kobolds did is frowned upon not just by us, the Unbound, but by everyone in Earthen society. I am not proud that we had to kill them, but we had to stop them by any means. Now that we landed a mighty blow, it is time to make sure that we block their tunnels so they cannot come back. Remember the stuff that Korgran asked about? Explosive sticks his recipe. I have brought enough to shake a mountain. More than enough for the kobolds. Help me show these kobolds that we will fight for what is ours so they will never come back. Knowing kobolds, they will have several work masters, or leaders, running this raid. Find and eliminate these so-called work masters. The rest of them will get disorganized, forget why they are here, and hopefully leave us alone.
Eliminating the minds behind this operation will only buy us more time if and when the Kobolds decide to do this again. Unfortunately, there is still one more Kobold brain that we have missed. Until now. While you were dealing with the tunnels and the work masters, I saw a peculiar Kobold go into a cave to the northwest. The Kobold seemed to respect him more than the others, calling him Grand Heister Book and offering him the food you call cheese. This makes me think he is the real mastermind. If that Kobold is in fact the real ward of this operation, then we should take the opportunity to strike him down. I will meet you at this cave. I am happy to see you, Quilixco. I feel my inner workings grinding that's a sign of anxiety. Corground nears his shutdown with every passing moment, and then this place will be under my care. It is a lot of responsibility. But I believe that I am ready for it. I have often walked the path between the outpost and the Morning Rise Memorial site. I can recognize the ruts made by my heavy steps. Same as those who came before me. But as an unbound, I wanted to be free of traditions that lock me into performing the same duties day to day. I chose to be a caretaker, but I wish I had wandered the aisle more. I didn't really know how much time I had left. I would much rather shut down by the ocean southeast of here. There is a lovely spot there I have wandered too often. Or. Alas, maybe Erdigo is right. I am just a crumbling earthen who is losing their pebbles. Before I shut down, I must craft an item that is meaningful to me. As a stonebound, I worked the mines. I had a lantern I made and used until I lost it in a collapse. I became unbound shortly after. I wish to forge a new lantern to guide my way through these final moments. The lantern was made of an ore found in small amounts around this area. I used a charged core in the lantern. You can find them in the storm fangs that roam these hills. Gather the materials, and I will forge the lantern.
these will do nicely. Now, hopefully I can remember how to forge a lantern. Before it's shut down, we earthen would descend to the awakening machine below and renew our cycle. But now, even if it was still working, I would see my cycle broken and be remembered as I am. Corgran lets out a deep sigh. These hands look strong, but they become heavier with each passing moment. The stiffness in my wrists and elbows will not let me carry the items to the forge. Please, add the right material to the forge as I call them out. <laughs> Is it, hmm, it looks like. I can't remember. But this lantern is absolutely magnificent. This lantern is perfect. Enough of this. It is time. I can feel my memory clouding. We have to get going. Ertigo is waiting for us. They will join us on my final journey to Morning Rise, where we will conduct a ceremony. Corgran forces a smile. It is nothing fancy, I promise. As I said, it is more symbolic than anything else. My head feels heavy. What was I doing again? Hmm, oh, right. Meeting Erdigo. Quilixco, we have to find Corgran. If he keeps on exerting himself, he will shut down in the middle of nowhere. And it's not safe for him to be out in his condition. He would be easy prey for storm fangs and even kobolds. This is horrible. I knew I should have been keeping a closer eye on him. Confusion is the last symptom before a shutdown. Our memory is finite and starts overwriting. The more an earthen exert themselves, the faster their energy depletes and they lose memories. Corgran must be scared not knowing where he is maybe not even who he is. I am such a bolder head. Quilixco, 
please, I think I saw him go east into the trees. Meet me there up the road. Yes, I remember you. We worked together, didn't we? You are, um. Core Grand pauses and taps his right temple. His eyes squint as he tries to remember your name. Quilixco, yes, Quilixco. What was I talking about? Why are we here? I remember now. I wanted to craft a lantern so it can guide me when I am lost. You help me make it? But... I don't recognize you. Everything is cloudy. I can't think. There was another. Boor. I can't remember her name. Were you able to find any sign of Corgran? Oh no, Corgran's condition is sliding downhill fast. Showing him the lantern was a good idea. Thank you for guiding him back to me. An unbound earthen can't return to the core way, so we have morning rise. But looking at Corgran, remembering our last conversation before. I may not be the morning rise caretaker just yet, but with Corgran's condition, it falls to me to be in charge. As Unbound, we made our own rules and traditions. So what if he doesn't want to stand at morning rise? If a seaside memorial is what caretaker Corgran wants, that's what he gets. Quilixco, meet me at the shore to the southeast of here.
Corkran's journey is close to its end. I need to do a few things to prepare, but I don't want to do any of them. I keep thinking if I don't, maybe he will be here for longer? But I know it's time for him to go. He enjoyed the walk, but it has taken a heavy toll on him. Corkran barely recognizes me now. As unbound caretakers, we have a tradition for when a master bequeaths their mantle to their apprentice. Figuratively, of course. To do that, Corgran will need a horn. He would then face me, blow the horn, and the sound signifies his passing the mantle of the morning rise caretaker to me. I saw Shulai horns to the west of here. I would be thankful if you could bring me several of their horns. I will choose one that is suitable. The Unbound have a symbolic ceremony of cleansing. We perform it before a shutdown. It is a symbolic process of purification. For it, we need to gather Ashen Fold, a flower that grows around the isle. We waft the smoke of the burned flowers through the fissures and cracks in our bodies to symbolically remove impurities. We are then ready to embrace our final moments. Ertigal looks at Corgran with a hand on her chest. Her face falls.
These are beautiful. I feel sorry for the Shulai horns, but there are many of them around. Thank you, Quilixco. I will prepare them for the ritual. It is time for the ceremony, Quilixco. Please place the bowl of ashen folds by Corgran and then hand him the horn. Once the ceremony concludes, I will be the new caretaker. Then I will have to say a final farewell to my friend. Corgran will shut down peacefully, knowing we were here by his side in the place he loved most something I wish and hope to have when it is my time. My core is mud, but it is a great honor to stand here with him, and with you. This place. The sound of the waves. The sand under my feet. It's bringing together what shards of memories I have left. But there are so many memories I've lost. My inception. My first wanderings of this land. Urtigo is right. There is no other place I would rather shut down than here in the waves. What an honor it is to be here. To be present at such an event. You were part of it, and I know that deep inside him, somewhere within Corgrounds core, there will always be a living memory of you, Quilixco. Thank you. It is done. Now is my time to take care and face the upcoming challenges of Morning Rise. I will miss Corgran. I think this is going to be my new think through spot when I need a zephyr of fresh air to clear my head. Or when I will need a listening ear. I am now the caretaker of Morning Rise. At last, I feel the weight of this new responsibility on my shoulders. It is a great honor, but one I must prepare myself for. Please, help me complete one final task, and then I will be ready. Meet me back at Fallside Outpost.
You brought core ground peace in his final moments, and now you have helped me fill his absence. Your aid will not be forgotten. So you have come to aid us. The Kobolds have seized this location and stolen several valuable artifacts. They have even taken the helm of Kriegvel. He was the first among us to choose to shut down. This tomb was built in his honor. If you recover our artifacts, I will allow you access to the treasure cache below as payment. Kobolds have always been a malfunction in our system, but they've never been so bold as to attack one of our catacombs. I suspect they are after the artifacts located here. Precious items of great significance to those who have chosen to shut down. Our treasure room, however, has little value to us. Illogical as that may seem. It is filled with that which we were given, not that which we chose to value. If you recover our artifacts, I will grant you what lies within. Something dark followed the kobolds here. They use these candles to keep it at bay. You will be depleted of all your strength if you stray too far from the candle's light. I discovered this the difficult way.
Creek Bulls Rest is a sacred place to our people. Thank you for helping us restore it.